Bonjour! Welcome to Shopping Part 2. It's Lesson 16. We had Part 1 last week and we learned how to say clothes, colors, and these and these in French. And today we continue with the situation in a clothes shop and we'll buy something today. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome. You are watching French Action and my name is Jenny. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! I would advise you to watch Shopping Part 1 since this lesson is a continuation. And if you don't know your colors as yet, there's another video called Colors in French for Beginners. Au magasin de vêtements. At the closed shop. So, magasin is not closed, is shop. So, really, what we are saying is at the shop of clothes. So, what is important is the fact that it's a shop, and in this shop, there are clothes. Okay? So, that's why we have magasin first, because we're not going to the clothes, we're going to the shop, which happens to have clothes. So, au magasin de vêtements. Magasin. I just would like to say, AU in French gives you the sound O. O. So, au magasin. And an S between two vowels give, gives you a Z sound. Hence, magasin de vêtements. I've just arrived at the shop and I hear, je peux vous aider, je peux vous aider. This means, may I help you? So I'm going to say I'm looking for a shirt. Je cherche une chemise. Je cherche une chemise. I'm looking for a shirt. Je répète, je peux vous aider. Je cherche une chemise. In fact, you can say oui. You can answer by saying oui first. Yes, je cherche une chemise. Then the person asked, Quelle est votre taille? Quelle est votre taille? Quelle est votre taille? It means, what's your size? So you could answer S, M, or L. S for small, M for medium, and L for large. Obviously, the shirt wasn't for me, and I didn't find what I wanted. But I saw that dress, and I said, hmm, I wanted to try it on. So I asked. Puis-je essayer cette robe? Puis-je essayer cette robe? Can I try on this dress? I could have said as well, Je peux essayer cette robe? Est-ce que je peux essayer cette robe? Anything like that is right. Can I try on this dress? So, the lady said, Allez à la cabine d'essayage. Allez à la cabine d'essayage. Allez à la cabine d'essayage. Do you remember we had essayé, which means to try on? Essayage. It will be, of course, for the dressing room. So, aller means go. Go to the dressing room. La robe vous va? Non, c'est trop serré. Nous avons cette robe en bleu. Mm, non, je n'aime pas la couleur. Well, as you can see, this red dress wasn't for me. So, this is the dialogue. La robe vous va? Does the dress suit you? Non, c'est trop serré. 
You may remember this from the previous video. No, it's too tight. And then she said, Nous avons cette robe en bleu. We have this dress in the blue color. Non, je n'aime pas la couleur. No, I don't like the color. So, I was about to leave the shop when I saw this nice bag. And I asked for the price. I just said, I like this bag. How much is it? J'aime ce sac à main. C'est combien? J'aime ce sac à main. Sac à main is a handbag. Okay, sac is, is bag and main is hand. So instead of saying handbag, we say bag hand. Okay, so j'aime ce sac à main. C'est combien? How much is it? So whenever you want to ask for a price, you can just say c'est combien? When I heard the price, I said, oh, that's too expensive. So I said to her, c'est trop cher. That's too expensive. Then the lady said, mais ce sac est en solde. Il y a une remise de 20%. Mais ce sac est en solde. Il y a une remise de 20%. It just means, but this bag is on sale. There is a 20% discount. So here what we say is there is a discount of 20%. What we're talking about is not 20%. We're talking about a discount, which happens to be 20%. So we're going to use remise first and the 20% afterwards. Well, I decided to take it. So, I said, je vais le prendre. Je vais le prendre. I'm going to take it. And here I said le because I'm referring to the bag. But if I had bought the dress, for example, which is la robe, I would have said, je vais la prendre. But here we're talking about the bag. So I said, je vais le prendre. Then she asked, vous payez par carte ou en espèces? Vous payez par carte ou en espèces? Hmm. Vous payez par carte ou en espèces? Are you paying by card, meaning bank card, or cash? So, we have to remember now that par carte means by card and en espèces means by cash. I decided to pay by card, so she asks for my card and she said, Votre carte, s'il vous plaît. Votre carte, s'il vous plaît. Then she said, Voici votre reçu. Voici votre reçu. Here's your receipt. Voici votre reçu. Have you noticed I said reçu? because there's a little cedilia under the C, which gives you the su sound. Otherwise, it would have been Q. It doesn't sound as nice. So now, let's do a little recap on the vocabulary we've just learned. Are you ready? C'est parti! Je cherche. Je cherche. I'm looking for. La cabine d'essayage. The dressing room. Cher. Expensive. En solde. On sale. 
par carte, by card, en espèces, by cash. Je peux vous aider. Je peux vous aider? Oh, puis-je vous aider? Quelle est votre taille? Quelle est votre taille? Je peux essayer? C'est combien? Je n'aime pas. We've come to the end of this video. Did you enjoy this shopping? I did. Vous aimez cette vidéo? If you did, then like it, share it, and please don't forget to subscribe. Au revoir!